Hi, I'm Jenna and this is the Burton Imperial boot. This boot's great for your advanced, aggressive, all-mountain freestyle rider um, who's looking for a lot of performance and a lot of features out of their boot. So to start off, let's talk about the liner that's in this boot. What we have here is the Imprint 3 liner, um, which is fully heat moldable, so you can take it into your shop and of course mold it to your foot, which gives you a very customized fit, um, as well as keeps your feet very comfortable throughout your day of riding. Um, next what we've got on this is we've got these what's called rad pads. So right under here um, there's some kind of rubber pieces that are very durable and a little bit thicker and kind of sit on top of the liner which when you're tightening up your boots, um, when you're tightening up the lacing, a lot of times you really crank down right here and in flexing the boots you kind of create some pressure and a little bit of a, a pressure point on top of your foot right there. This actually absorbs that and stops that from happening, so it makes for a little bit more comfortable of a fit. Next we've got what's called the focus cuff heel hold in this boot. And what that does is within the boot it actually really locks your foot into place and gives you a little bit more response out of the liner. Um, keeps your ankles from moving around and keeps you, um, keeps you transferring your energy as effective as possible. Um, what's pretty cool in this and hard to see in here, but this liner features what's called sock lock. And it's a material down here that when you slide your foot in, makes it actually easier for you to get your foot into the boot. But it's a directional material, so when you go to pull your foot out, or when you're riding, um, your foot's not going to move around. It's locked into place, um, it's, it's not moving, so it's more effectively transferring that energy and you're not losing that energy due to your foot moving around in the liner. But again, it makes it so it's very easy to get your boot, or to get your foot into the liner. Now you'll notice that you don't have a drawstring here, which you'll find on some of the boots. And this is because this has been replaced on the, imp uh, the Imprint 3 liner by some Velcro. Um, what this does is it allows you to really still get that um, tight feel from the tongue of your liner, but by taking that drawstring off, it's cutting down a lot more on weight. So it's making for a more um, performance oriented boot while still giving you the ability to um, really lock your foot into place and really give you that comfort. Last what you've got on this boot is some lightweight power panels. And what that does is it makes it so the liner itself can be flexy, can be very comfortable, but you still have some added support on the outside of the liner, um, keeps, your, keeps your heel locked in place and keeps you transferring the energy as effectively as possible um, to, to your binding, to your board. So let's go back to the shell of the boot now. And what we have is um, on the Imperial boot, and you, Burton uses their shrinkage technology. So what that means is that if you're riding a size 10 in this boot, your footprint's actually more that of a size 9. This is great if you're riding any boots um, over an 11 because you know, you're riding some wider boards and instead of an 11 uh, having the footprint of 11, now an 11 has a footprint of a 10, so you don't need to ride that water board in a lot of cases. Um, so that's great that they feature that on the Imperial as well. Um, lastly on this boot, we can talk about the uh, cushioning underfoot. Um, we've got a barbum outsole on this boot, um, and, and we also have um, what's called the EST optimized midsole. So if you're riding this boot with an EST binding, which is used for um, the Burton ICS boards, um, those, those bindings are designed to give you the maximum um, feel of your board through those bindings. Um, it's supposed to give you the best contact from your bindings to your board, again, to maximize that feel. So this boot, the outsole is actually designed to do the same thing. Um, it's a lower profile, very lightweight outsole, and what that does is it again um, allows you to, to have that feel of your board um, while still effectively transferring that energy as well. It lowers your center, your center of gravity um, and it improves that um, maximum connection between your boot and your binding. Um, you also have what's called B3 cushioning in this um, in the midsole of this boot, and what that is is it's a very squishy material in the toe and the anchor and the heel of the boot that um, allows to absorb a little bit of impact as well as vibration. So again, on, if you do get a little bit more aggressive on it, um, it absorbs that vibration, absorbs that shock, so it makes for a, a little bit smoother of a ride. Um, and then last, we've got what's called the rubber ice spikes. Um, what these do is, when engaged, they're actually um, a little bit more grippy, they give you a little bit more traction on ice and harder packed snow so you're not slipping. 
um, and again, you know, have that extra traction. So this is the Burn Imperial boot. Um, pretty awesome boot for the value. It's definitely your advanced uh, all-mountain freestyle rider looking for a higher-end performance boot.